evolution of sharks can be traced back over 400 million years. The most famous extinct shark is Crocodon megalodon. This animal, which lived in the seas 10 million years ago, easily dwarfed modern white sharks. Based on the fossil record, Megalodon had quite an extensive range. The animal was patrolling the world's oceans from 16 to 3.5 million years ago, and teeth of Megalodon have been found on every continent except Antarctica. Based on the fossil distributions, Megalodon preferred temperate and subtropical regions. The range of Megalodon is an example of a cosmopolitan distribution, where an animal's range extends all across or most of the world in appropriate habitats. Modern day animals with cosmopolitan distribution include great white sharks, orcas, and humans. Megalodon is a member of the now extinct Ododontidae family of sharks, also known as the megatooth sharks. The Ododontids belong to the Lamniformes order of sharks that includes modern-day great white sharks, goblin sharks, and basking sharks. While there are more discoveries to be made, the fossil record gives us an accurate glimpse into the evolutionary history of these animals. Crete alumna Appendiculata was a 3 meter long shark that lived during the late Cretaceous from approximately 100 to 90 million years ago. The animal is believed to have been a pelagic predator and would have fed on a variety of prey from bony fish to soft body. But scientists now believe there was one main culprit that drove the nail into the coffin of the Megalodon. At around the same time as Megalodon went extinct, a new apex predator had just started to make its appearance, the Great White Shark. Cacharodon cacharius, or the Great White Shark, appeared around the same time as the Megalodon species began to decline. It would seem this new species of shark could outcompete the Megalodon. The smaller size of Great Whites allowed them to catch and eat smaller prey, which was more abundant after the climate shift. The ability to eat many different species other than just small whales gave the Great Whites an advantage. Not only did the Great White have a wider variety of food that it could choose from, but the smaller body size actually worked in its favor. Since the Megalodon had such a massive body, it needed to stay in relatively warm waters so it can maintain its body temperature. Sharks are ectotherms, meaning they don't regulate their internal body temperature, but instead rely on factors such as sunlight and muscle movement to increase the temperature of their bodies. The smaller bodies of the Great White Sharks meant they could venture into cooler waters since they had less body mass to keep warm.